Hello, warlocks of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 23rd episode of our Eldritch Invocations series. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at something that'll give you that added advantage in combat as well as make your character a little bit more bad ace. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at Improved Packed Weapon. Uh, this is almost mandatory for any uh, Hexblade Warlocks out there. Um, if you're a Warlock being a melee range or using weapons as opposed to spells, uh, this is perfect for you, or at the very least using a combination of the two. Um, in any case, with that intro out of the way, let's take a look at the full description here so you know what we're talking about. First and foremost, it's going to be worth noting that there is a prerequisite for this, and that is that you have to have chosen the Pact of the Blade feature. Uh, that's what allows you to store your weapon in a kind of subdimensional rift, stuff like that. Um, and it reads as followed. You can use any weapon you summon with your Pact of the Blade feature as a spell casting focus for your Warlock spells. In addition, the weapon gains plus one to its attack and damage rolls unless it is a magic weapon that already has a bonus to those rolls. Finally, the weapon you conjure can be a short bow, a long bow, a light crossbow, or heavy crossbow. Now there really is a lot implied here if you look at the wording. Um, I'll explain that a little bit more in the overview section. So without further ado, let's take a look. Essentially, your packed weapon becomes your spellcasting focus and it gains a plus one to attack and damage. You can also conjure a short bow, long bow, light crossbow, or heavy crossbow. So there's a couple reasons why this is so good. Um, first and foremost, the spellcasting focus component. So while it might not seem like a whole lot at, at, at a glance, this is what allows you to cast spells while you have a weapon and a shield. Uh, otherwise, as long as there's that somatic component, which most spells do have, uh, you wouldn't be able to. Uh, a lot of DMs homebrew where you can and can't, but they, they, they you can't by raw. Uh, the plus one is super great, especially since there's no level cap on this. If you're a Hexblade Warlock, take this as soon as you get your, your invocations. Uh, and the ability to conjure a short bow, long bow, light crossbow, or heavy crossbow, this is super, super amazing. Um, honestly, the the sheer versatility this has is essentially unrivaled especially if your or especially if your dm uh, is implying carrying weight uh, this is a great way to kind of be the go to for almost any situation it uh it really is nice um in addition to that i just want to quickly double check here yeah exactly you can use your charisma modifier uh, instead of your strength or dex so that's even better um, honestly, there's no reason not to take this at this point. It is one of the best invocations we've covered so far, and it really is, yeah, it, it really is mandatory for the Hexblade Warlock. Uh, I'd be curious to see how Hexblade Warlock would be stacked without this. There's an Unearthed Arcana version of this as well that we're, uh, that I will be covering, I promise, but, uh, I'm trying to get all the core rules done first, and then I'll touch on Unearthed Arcana in a little bit. Uh, it, it's, it's on my plate, but uh, yeah, yeah, so there is a potential way to upgrade this. Um, I think it's at 15th level. You can pick uh, ultimate pack weapon, something like that. It gets like a plus three. It's, it's really good, um, but, and I, I, would, I allow it in my games, but um, in any case, uh, that is, that's it for today, guys. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, uh, or ideas, combos, or cool stories, please put them down below in the comment section. I really appreciate reading them, and I really enjoy talking with you guys. Uh, that being said, I hope you all have a great day, and as always, happy casting.